headed over the hill to Bend right now for a meeting and meet up with Jesse and his Land Cruiser somewhere in the Metolius, Green Ridge, Jefferson area, not exactly sure. But we're gonna take the tent and the trailer, which is in tow, uh, and we're gonna set it up and I'll try to do a video that, that kind of showcases some of the things that we like about it, some things we're working through, some of the things I'm thinking in terms of adding on to it. Just giving you a little bit more of a hands-on look and not in my driveway. wanted to walk around and explain some of the things that I really like about it and maybe some of the things we're still thinking about. Uh, it's love the fact that when you're out here uh, camping you've got the ability to store stuff in here. I've just got these three Plano boxes that most of our stuff goes into and then they just fit in the back here. We've also done it where I put them up here and strapped them in with some tie downs uh, in between the tent here. I still wanna build potentially a, something that goes across here um, that is similar to this that I can then, you know, remove, take off, and then put all these, these Plano boxes in there and then tie them down. That way they're just not going anywhere or coolers or something like that. Um, I put this this storage box here, this tongue box here that just keeps all of our uh, stuff that we need related to the, the towing or tools or whatever. And then I actually put the water jug on top of that when we uh, came over. So when you're out in a, in a remote spot where you don't have tables or places to store stuff, the just the ability to throw stuff on, to, on top here and keep it off the ground, stuff that you want to keep off the ground is probably the best thing about it in terms of just simplicity. This is the the annex bag and the floor uh, that we just didn't put on it last night just because we were looking for more of a quick pop up. Uh, but it's pretty awesome. Went to CVT yesterday. This ladder wasn't working right it was not latching right here and i just took it over there and told them and they swapped me out ladders but um really good customer service inside here see it's easily we, we slept comfortably with two people last night four people have slept, I've slept in here with my wife and two kids and it's it's you know a little a little tight, but nothing that you wouldn't do when you're camping. If you're camping with your family, typically you've got all your stuff down here in the annex. So your bags and whatnot can just sit right in here. Um, and then you don't have to keep anything except for sleeping bags up in the sleeping area. So it's got lots of clearance. Jesse was mentioning as we were driving yesterday that it almost looks like it has more clearance underneath than the, than the Jeep did. We took a couple of rough places where we couldn't turn it around and I was actually able to we are, we were actually able to turn it around like unhook it and turn it around so that we could turn the Jeep around easier and then hook it back up and go so I did make a couple of turnarounds that were a little dicey but it, it, so it wasn't impossible it definitely makes it so that you got to be careful what trails you, you go down and make sure you can get back out of <laughs> but I don't know what else to say, otherwise I put a couple roto packs here on the back. And great for just gas. I've, I've got one for water. They were talking about doing a little table right there. I'm still debating on it. I've sort of left a lot of things open to to, to uh, be able to do, depending on how I use it. And I wanted to try it out a few times before I made decisions on stuff. So I'm pretty sure I want to do something 
up here that can lock some stuff in, but uh, I'm not sure exactly what I'm gonna do yet. So the other thing that it does that I haven't shown you is that the the, the uh, it's got 250 pound struts lift this this thing up. So it's got latches in here that allow it to lift up. And we'll show you that here in a second when we get the tent back up. Ready? Yeah. All right, so we're gonna try to lift it. Let me try to lift it. I think it was yeah. just the first latch time. It might have been. There's good space in there. One guy can shut it. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so ultimately, I realized I probably just should have got an 80 series Land Cruiser, but I'm just working with what I got, so.